This is Martin Shervington, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Google Plus page, otherwise known as a Google Plus brand page. In order to make a Google Plus page, you'll need to have a Google Plus profile. So it's probably worth just explaining that the difference between a page and a profile is that a profile is a person and a page isn't. However, it might be that a person who's a brand, uh, a famous person, will have a brand page as well as or instead of just a Google Plus profile. Okay, the first thing to do when you want to make a page is you come across and you look for the pages icon and you click on pages and you'll see it gives you the option here to create a page. So just click that to take you to the next stage. The first set of options that you'll be given is what is the nature of page you want to build. If you're a local business, then do make sure that you choose the local option. And if you're a company, then you're gonna to want to choose the company option. Now, when it comes to a general brand page, go for the brand option, and then you can select a category. For instance, art and entertainment. Next thing to do is to choose a name for the page, to put the website address, if you have one, that it relates to, to choose if it's any Google user or more specific for the appropriateness of the content, and then you check that you've agreed to the page terms. It's worth checking those out as well, and then you continue. And I should just point out that if it's a company and if it's a Google local listing, then you're gonna to want to put in a telephone number and most likely an address as well. Uh, and all of that will help to increase the authenticity of the page that you're creating. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the page. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna change some pictures. So if I click in to change the profile photo, and I happen to have one on the desk, so I'm just going to drop that one in, and it will allow me to move it around, so I'm just going to drag it um, so that the arrow is included within it, um, to there, and then set that as the profile picture. And I'll just cancel that because I don't want it going out. So that's the first one. The second one I'm going to do is change the, the cover. And I'll use the same process again. I'm actually going to upload one. I could choose one from the, the list here. Um, but I'm going to upload one. So I have one on the desktop. So just drag and drop that one across. And I'm just going to select that whole area and select that as the cover photo. Well, we're now well on the way to the page being created and together. So the next thing to have a look at is under the About section, you can decide if you want people to see how many people you have in circles and how many people have you in circles, and you just uncheck the box or choose specific circles um, that you want to show. And the same there. And when you're ready, just save. The same with this story. You're going to want to enter a tagline that best describes the page and add into the introduction using the headings of, of bold and italics if you want to as well that will describe the page. And when you're ready, click save. And then, importantly, you're going to want to make sure that your website is linked. So put the website in and it will also give you the option then to link it. And a box will come up that will probably tell you to get in touch with your webmaster with some code. And that's a very important step as it links your external site to that particular page. It gives a two-way link. Also, you can add in some custom links there, for instance, other social channels that you might be using. And when you're ready, click Save. Finally, in the About section, if you want to add in your contact information, you can add telephone numbers and email addresses, and then decide as well who you want to have access to that information. A few other things whilst we're in this section of the page. Know that you can flip through the tabs and you'll see posts that you've put out, um, or if you want to put them out, you do it from there. You have your photos, you have videos which are linked to this account, which will relate to a YouTube channel, and you'll also have reviews. A couple of other things just to point out is that you can view the page as yourself and see what you see, or you could view it, for instance, as public. 
or you could view it if you shared information to specific circles or individuals. You can put their name in and you'll see how they will see the page. The next thing to do is to come across to Dashboard and you can get there into the section um, in the upper right as well, but I've just come from the menu bar. And you'll see here's an overview of what is going on with that particular page. And I'm going to come on to Managers. And so I'm going to just have a look in the Managers section and show you how to add Managers in. Very simple. You just add in the names or their email addresses and choose between Manager or Communications Manager and then click Invite. When you have additional managers on that particular page, they will show up in this section. And if you want to transfer ownership, then they need to have been a manager of the page for at least two weeks, but you can then transfer ownership as the owner across to them. The final thing just to show you on setting up the brand page is then customizing it so that, for instance, you can decide who can send you notifications and who can comment on your public posts. Uh, for the greatest reach, look for anyone to be able to comment. Well, that's how you set up a brand page on Google+. Uh, this is Martin Sherrington. Please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is the Plus Your Business YouTube channel, for a lot more tips on how to use Google+, for business. Many thanks.